What is up, MFers? Welcome back to another very exciting episode. I am totally jacked today because it is August 15th. So you might be asking, why am I excited that it's August 15th? As I uh, hopefully don't get run over by this car. Well, the reason I'm happy that it's August 15th is because today, for the last seven hours, it is the start of the frog leg season in Nebraska. That's right, we're gonna catch some frogs today. We're gonna take them home. We're gonna try a brand new recipe that I am super freaking jacked for. I made one frog leg video on my channel and it happened to be the most viewed video of all time. You guys loved that one. So all of you guys have been like, why have you not made another frog leg video? Well, we only have like a month and a half season here in Nebraska. So here I am with my favorite frog and hole. I got everything lined up. I'm ready to go catch some frogs. Now, like I told you guys last year, it's very important to practice selective harvest with these frogs. That's why the season's so short, so you don't screw up any of their reproduction cycle or anything like that. You can keep up to eight per person, but I don't think we're gonna need that many today. These frogs in this lake right here are absolutely freaking giant. So I'm gonna go for four today. And then, like I said, we're, we're trying out a brand new recipe back home. Super, super jacked to get home and try that out. And before I show you guys everything I brought for frogging today, my uh, my rod and reel, I catch my rod and reel actually. We're not spearing them. We're not trying to catch them in the dark or anything today. I wanna let you know that YouTube is a little bit sensitive to, to harvesting animals like this. Even though it's legal, 100% select harvest and everything, it could likely get this video demonetized. So if you could, I would love if you went and subscribed right now, head over to Melican Fishing. I'm gonna link it down below and, and go check out some of my apparel. So here's everything you need for frog and you know it's, it's super super simple a rod and reel and I'm actually going to use just what I used last time and that is full Mr. Frog. I catch so many frogs on frogs it's my to favorite topwater bait these frogs live in the slime so you have to have something weedless to catch them you're also going to need a plastic bag to put the frogs in you're going to need a scissors so you can humanely kill the frog right away you're going to need a measuring tape or at least we are here in Nebraska because those frogs have to be four and a half inches from the tip of their mouth uh, down to their butt. So four and a half inches, so you, you definitely need one of these. So definitely check your regulations if you wanna do this. Make sure that you keep the proper size frogs. And then of course, a, a bucket to uh, to carry them in. But yeah, let's uh, let's start casting around, hopefully catch some frogs and maybe even accidentally catch a big old slaunchy bass. All right, let's go. Well, I'm actually pretty jacked guys. I already see one frog head down there, which I don't expect you guys to be able to see, and one down a little further. This pond is absolutely loaded with these guys but basically this is going to be the uh the technique we're just going to throw the frog in try to keep our distance so we don't spook the frog and he got it yep easy freaking peasy all right we got our first frog look at that guy that's a big i need to make sure this guy is long enough oh my god that thing is huge look how big that dude is let's measure him really quick and then we will dispatch of him very quickly and humanely gotta be four and a half inches from the tip of their nose to their butt that guy is like I don't know, six inches? He's giant. Yeah, he's about six inches from the tip of his nose to his butt. So the way I kill these guys, uh, I take a scissors, I go right in the brain really quick, give it a little twist, and uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're done, which is perfect. You don't want them struggling, you know. Don't be a bad person. All right, great start. Literally been here for like five minutes. Made my first flip at my first frog that I could see, and we are one frog in the box. It is a giant. You want those big ones, the freaking legs on those things? Wait till we clean those up later, guys. The legs on those things are like freaking chicken wings. They're giant. Ooh, that's the guy we want right there. Missed it. Come here, buddy. Let's do this again, me and you. Mmm. Told you guys this pond is loaded, unfortunately. We got ourselves a swing and a miss. Mm-hmm. Another Mr. Froggy. Sorry about your hand, dude. God, these frogs are freaking huge here. Well, frog number two. Let's measure him quick. Once again, he's about a six incher. You guys ever seen a six incher before? Also, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but don't wear nice clothes frogging. I already got pissed all over. Luckily, I got a couple more of this same High Life shirt, but I've only caught two and I already smell freaking like terrible. Ooh, there's another one down there. Ooh. Spooked a big old fish right there. I'm gonna try to catch that fish. Watch this. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a freaking tank. Yep. Yep, come here. Come here. If I was trying to bass fish right now, I wouldn't be able to catch these. But of course, since I'm out here dicking around catching frogs, catch a freaking three and a half pounder. <laughs> All right. Frog and bass combination. Back into the slop. You guys know I'm not gonna be able to come out here, crack it down in the morning, low light conditions, spook a big bass out from under there, and not try to catch them. Freaking beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. 
That ain't fish, that's a frog. These people probably think I'm freaking crazy, like usual, out here talking to myself. He's not as big, but I think he'll get us to four and a half inches. All right, so we've got a nice large mouth. This is our third frog. We need one more frog, and papa, we're gonna go cook him up. I mean, it looked smaller, but it's freaking five and a half inches still. These are big ones here. Damn, that's the one right there. Eat it. Yep, game over. Four of them. Let's go home. Oh yes. Check his length right quick. If he were to get his stuff together. Yep, that's another six incher. Got a big one. All right, Mr. Last Froggy. Badass. All right guys, quick and friggin' easy. We got our four frogs. Time to take them home, get them cleaned up, and then we're gonna start this brand new recipe. I'm excited to show you guys. I found it online. I wanna try something different. For those of you that like a little bit more spice in your life, I think you're gonna like this little recipe we got. But yeah, let's get headed home and I will, uh, I'll catch you there. Okay guys, just got back to the house. Uh, first thing before we go ahead and clean these frogs up, we're gonna grill these for this recipe. That's what's gonna be a little bit different about this one that we did last time when we fried them. They're gonna be a little healthier today, gonna be a little spicier today, like I told you. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is go and start the grill. That way those coals can get nice and freaking hot. Now here's everything you're gonna need to clean the frogs. We're gonna clean them just like we did last time if you watched that video, but I know there's like 120,000 new MFers since uh, since last year, so you might not have seen this. This is all you're gonna need though. You're gonna need a, a bowl with a little bit of cold water in it, scissors, good kitchen shears, scissors are absolutely key. Uh, a gut bag, pliers, you need regular pliers like these, and of course a knife, so that's really it. You don't need a whole lot of stuff. All right, let's get these frog legs cleaned up. All right, so take it a little bit easy on me here, guys, because I have not done this since the first time I did this, which was the only time we've done this, but the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our knife, which needs to be sharp. This one is not sharp. I don't know if this knife's even gonna work, but you just need to make a slit in the skin right back here. Oh my God, we're gonna need a different knife. This knife is terrible. All right, new knife situation. This one's sharp as a bitch, so it should work really, really well. Perfect, that's exactly what we need right there. All right, so once we have that skin chopped open like that, you're just gonna take and we're gonna pull his pants down. Just like so. And then obviously we're gonna throw him in a gut bag. And then we're gonna take our scissors, we're gonna go right underneath his little, uh, his little butt area, right behind that guy right there and we're gonna cut them free. You're gonna come around like this, you're gonna grab it by the legs, hold them over your gut bag, just like so, and you're gonna cut them off like, like that. Easy freaking peasy. Look at that, look how meaty those legs are and how much meat you get off them. It is freaking insane. I was seriously shocked last time, not only by uh, by how good they tasted, but, but how much meat are on these. So at this point, all we need to do is go in the middle, Cut them, and boom. Look how freaking meaty and delicious those look right there. So we throw them in our little bowl right there. And uh, yeah, let's, let's do one more just so you guys can get the hang of it. So again, we'll cut the skin right here. We're gonna take our pliers, grab the skin, pull them straight back. That guy tore, so we had to pull them off separately. No big deal, we're gonna come back behind this bone right here and we're gonna cut it. This is again why you need these good kitchen shears. We're gonna grab him by the legs, put his head and body in the gut bag. We're just gonna cut him free. Boom, two giant, meaty, delicious frog legs. Chop them down the middle, pow, into the water. All right, so we'll repeat the process two more times with those last two frogs. Looks like our, our heat situation is going really, really good with the grill, it is uh, super, Super hot, I can't wait for this. This is gonna be delicious. All right, so the grill is finishing heating up. It's gotta be really, really close right now. We got our frog legs, as you guys can see, they're all cleaned up. They're put on this little, uh, this cooking tray right here. Here's how we're gonna prep them for the grill. We're gonna take a little bit of olive oil uh, and brush it on there. That way these guys cook nice and evenly over that flame. Get it on both sides. All right, next up, just simple salt and pepper. Yeah, it's so weird. Can you guys see the muscles twitching when that salt hits it? Ugh, <laughs> it's just creepy. All right, so even though these are gonna be like a buffalo style, I really, really like this uh, Tony Chicharro's Creole seasoning. So I like a little bit of Creole, just gives it a different flavor profile than just a straight up buffalo. We're gonna add some, some buffalo sauce that I'm gonna kind of make jazz up a little bit. Oh my God, look at those things. It's about the creepiest damn thing I've ever seen. But I did just look it up on my phone. Apparently, when you put salt on these guys, it contracts the muscles, even though that the, the frog's been dead for like two hours now. 
Wow, that is insane. So bizarre. Woo, that is hot. All right, frog legs are on. We're gonna go inside and make a sauce to toss them in just really, really quick because they're only gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna keep a close eye on them so they don't get burned. Uh, but with the olive oil, it will get them a little bit crispy with that direct heat right underneath them. So that is a, a very, very good thing. All right, I apologize for the lighting here. It is like freaking brutal. But all we're gonna do is we, we turn a pan to a medium heat here. We're gonna take butter. We're gonna take about a half stick of butter with my really sharp spatula knife. Melt that guy down. All right, so once the butter is almost melted, we're just gonna take and put about a, a, a tablespoon or so of garlic and let that kind of cook for probably, I don't know, not that much, until like two or three minutes. Usually it says in recipes till it's fragrant. All right, perfect. So now we've had this on for a couple minutes. The garlic's cooked a little bit, the butter's reduced. We're gonna take this Frank's right here, Frank's Buffalo. You can do it with regular Frank's too. Uh, I like the Buffalo a lot. So we're gonna dump about, oh, uh, let's call it probably like half a cup. We're gonna turn this down to low. We're just gonna let all those flavors kinda come together, give ourselves a nice little buffalo sauce. Let that just kinda cook and meld together until the frog legs are done. All right, frog legs, you will know, are done when they're about the consistency kind of between like chicken and cooked salmon. So it's nice and firm. I guess I would compare it to like a, a medium well steak or a medium steak when you push on it. It's a little bit softer. The flavor of this meat, and a lot of you guys have said this, and what's, it's what I told you guys last time, it's kind of like a cross between salmon and chicken um, texture-wise, but it tastes a little bit more like chicken to me. I don't know, but I'm super jacked to uh, get some of that sauce on these. I think they're about ready. Oh yeah, those guys are, are pretty much ready. So let's get these taken off the grill, get them inside and uh, give them a good old taste. All right, sauce is nice and thickened up. Now you can toss the frog legs in this sauce in like a, a bowl or something if you want to. I think it's probably gonna be easier today to uh, just kind of brush them on because there's, I mean, there's so much area of the frog leg that doesn't have that much meat on it. So I'm gonna brush this guy. Brush the sauce over those frog legs. Oh yes, freaking love buffalo anything. All right, moment of freaking truth. These things look so damn good. I'm excited to get torn into these. I'm gonna eat them pretty much all to myself. Probably should save some for Miss Milk and Fishing. She's big on the, uh, the buffalo everything as well, but let's give this guy a try. Looks freaking delicious. Mm. I think I like this better than the fried one. Last time I, uh, Fry them in a pan, bread them everything. This is so good. This meat is seriously, it's like salmon and chicken. If you've never tried it, you should definitely try it. It's not weird. Uh, my wife liked it last time. Max liked it last time. I don't know, so freaking good. So glad I did this one. Definitely enjoying this, uh, this new recipe. I need to dig in and put these away. These are uh, freaking delicious. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this recipe. It's, uh, it's not the most complicated recipe. I try to make it easy for you guys. Uh, it's easy to follow along with. That Tony's seasoning on there tastes delicious, salt and pepper, and then of course just the uh, the real simple buffalo sauce that we made to brush on there. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to uh, digging into these guys right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go subscribe if you like the catch and cook videos and comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this one. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine I can't stop with a love